Okay, then, where? So, uh, next up is our final for the female bantamweight division. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Um, a, because it's an amazing fight. B, because obviously I know I know Chloe. She's a Bristol girl. I, I've seen her career unfold. Um, so, interestingly enough, Chloe's in the final here. Look, looked aggressive and dominant yesterday. Maybe the third round in, uh, wasn't really going her way, but she's fighting two weight categories up. That is an interesting fact. We were saying yesterday that she looked... Uh, Pretty small in comparison. Yeah, exactly. She, uh, yeah, she's fighting a bantamweight. I think she's a straw weight usually, or is it, uh, yeah, I think she's maybe a straw weight usually. But two weight categories up. Really aggressive. Really like um, intense fighter. I think her attitude makes up for that, though, Wes. To be honest with you. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> She brings a massive presence yeah. to the cage. Fantastic judo, which we didn't get to see yesterday. She had that one um, outside trip. It looked really good. But, uh, yeah, looking forward to, to see how today goes. And she is fighting Hayley Bowerclough. That's who, it. Go on, sorry, Wes. Who's looked great all the way through. Most definitely, it's going to be a and great fight. Haley, obviously, had the win yesterday one. over Marina. We we've just seen fighting Lauren Wolf. Yeah, Haley. Um, Haley starts slow. Wales. That's Hayley the only Parker. thing I'd say here. She's got that high guard, slow, stalky sort of style. Chloe's full on, so that's going to be interesting. You win by first round trial choke, representing Wales, Alfie Parker. Yeah, like I say, Haley looks uh, very relaxed. Chloe looks right up for it, takes the centre from the half. Yeah. Chloe looks strong, even being a couple of weight categories up. She looks really strong, doesn't she? She does, yeah. Nice kick. So the southpaw stance of Chloe. Nice shots from Haley. Good kick again. So Haley's sort of following Chloe around the cage a bit here. Um, nobody needs to rush to make something happen, but I think if Haley starts putting that jab out, she's going to draw Chloe on slightly. Nice shot. Oh, big shot. Good now they're engaging. The center. Haley seems to be looking for the counter rather than initiating her own striking early on in this round. She does. I'd like to see her use that jab a bit more. Led with the rear hand there. Nice kick. That's a really lovely outside leg kick. Works really well from that southpaw stance. Ooh. So after every shot, Chloe backs out. Maybe now, once she throws a shot, she should come forward or stand in the pocket a bit more. Because every shot she's throwing, she's, she's coming out afterwards. Maybe that's to try and draw Haley on, but it's not working this far. These leg kicks are adding up, though. They certainly are. Chloe seems to be... Uh, bit more, I wouldn't say uh, measured, but she's taking her time and picking her strikes a bit more today. Yeah, Haley looked really good. She checked that last kick. She's trying to get that, the, the timing of Chloe now. Um, the crowd are really behind this fight as well. But yeah, Haley's really, oh, lovely overhand right. Haley's really timing things well now. 10 seconds left in this first round. Yeah, it's a very even round, I'd say. Oh, oh, lovely right hand. Here we are, this round one in the bag. Really it's time nice. to really pick up the pace in the last 30 seconds. So, 
What was really interesting was Haley. Uh, Haley started by letting Chloe come on to her. Let, she caught. She got the leg kicked over and over again in the beginning. Chloe was stepping in, landing a shot, coming straight back out again, and Haley started to make her pay for that. It's like she's like she spent a minute and a half really sort of studying and getting to grips with the timing of Chloe's game, and she seems to have had that sus now at the end of that round. She's from Drake, so it'd be interesting to see some of her jiu-jitsu skills. However, if she comes out and strikes like she did in the last minute of that fight. Yeah, it's interesting. You've obviously got uh, someone who's proficient in BJJ, in Haley, and then in Chloe, you've got the judo. And neither of them have looked to uh, put that game into play. It's kind of uh, nullified each other and just gone for a full-out striking match. Round two, here we go. So Haley has got a bit of close respect now, definitely. Oh, that leg though, that leg is in trouble. She doesn't look to be wanting to put much no, weight on that leg. that leg is leg. in trouble now. She's going to have to really concentrate on checking all the kicks that come from that leg. You can see it's really welted up now as well. Yeah. And you that is swelling badly, that knee. Yeah, I think this, this leg kicks could, could be the deciding factor here with this fight. That leg is really battered. You can see her movement is starting to slow down a little bit. If you look at the coloration of the knee as well. Yeah, you can definitely see yeah, it starting to swell. I wonder if the corner, Chloe's corner can pick up on that, whether that will become part of the game plan. Haley now switched to a uh, southpaw stance. Chloe looking to take part the other leg. Nice exchange. Chloe's still sticking with the same game, though. One shot and move, one shot and move. I think if she could start landing on Haley and hit her with a flurry. Good left hand by Haley from this unusual for her south pole stance because she switched because of the damage to that knee. This is what I think uh, Haley needs to do, really. She needs to push forward because, like you say, too many more of them kicks and I like, don't see how she's going to have a strong enough base really yeah exactly and because Chloe's coming in and, and exiting again in and out what she's landing are, are big shots she's not landing so there's nothing building up lovely shot but we can't underestimate how strong uh, how tough Haley is nice body kick She's, I thought she's done a good job of hiding that leg. Nice exchanges here on the feet. Do you think Chloe realises how damaged that leg is? I'm not sure she stage? does, you know. I mean, it's hard because she's masked it really well by switching to the side pole stance. But her, I haven't heard her corner mentioning it. So perhaps I haven't realised, but I mean, that knee looks really swollen now. Interestingly as well, not a lot of these shots from Chloe have got through, and Haley's really hitting the target now. You can see bruising on Chloe's ear. Yeah, she's reading it, circling off, and just catching her every time. She is, that was a nice. Chloe stepped in really well there with that inside leg kick. I think there might be a takedown coming soon. There we go. Now, can Haley stay on her feet? Oh, a big right hand for Chloe. Ah, lovely leg kick. Recognising she'd gone back to the orthodox stance. There was a leg kick. Wow, right, that Ooh, was lovely. That I mean, was exciting. So but... it's obvious early on that Haley's leg is playing her up in that round. Um, however, she came out and I think she won the strike in. I think she definitely landed more. 100% she landed more shots. Chloe opts in for that get in, land a shot, get out again. I'd say when you look at it, Chloe seems to possess uh, the more power in her shots, but Haley just seems to be able to land more. It's going to be interesting to see now coming into this uh, next round if they're going to keep it on the feet or if Chloe's going to be looking for the takedown like she did at the end of that round. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the key to victory, I think, for Chloe, kick that leg off if you can. Um, Haley needs to protect that leg and she needs to really let her hands go. Look, really now start hitting Chloe. Don't overcommit, don't get shot, don't give Chloe in an entry underneath any of your wild shots. Stay really composed and really let those hands go. 
just looking at uh, Haley now from the outside, the difference in the legs is uh, very noticeable. Yeah, it's going to take a few days to walk that off, mate. Here we go. Nice jab. Good counter shot from Chloe. So Haley in the south ball from the start. Sorry, Haley, yeah, Haley looks really good now coming forward. What I'm wondering is, is Haley going to set up a shot against the fence? Or is Chloe going to shoot from her back on the fence? Lovely, great cage awareness from Haley. The way she, nice work from Chloe. The way Haley's controlling Chloe around that, a lovely yeah. jab, great, great shot. You can see that one took effect. Yeah, and she's controlling the, the cage really well. So Haley seems to be picking up a bit of momentum here. Mixing up now, some body kicks, some hooks. Lovely shot. Nice exchange of hooks from both. I can hear Chloe's corner saying, let's make Left it two now instead of one, and she does. Yeah. Yeah, I think if they if they both start throwing mul multiple shots here, combinations, it can work in both their favours. Minute and 35 to go. Nice yeah. kick. <laughs> Haley controlling the cage really well again. Chloe not able to even get, get in and clinch. She cuts that angle really well. She comes forward. As soon as Chloe makes an exit. Oh! Big on that fantastic one. Fantastic right She's taking hand. steps back there. And she shoots. Drives. Oh! The armbar! That is oh, going to wow, be... Wow. That is a, a magnificent attempt at an armbar. That's going to be tight. If she can extend her hips, that is tight. Chloe trying to, to strike. Perhaps she just needs to concentrate on clearing that arm for now. Worry about the grinding pound afterwards. She's having to really defend that arm bar. That, was a, that came out of nowhere. 40 seconds left in this round. Is it here, Wes? Um, Do you think it is if Chloe lets the left arm go. It's in. The elbow's past the, the, elbow's past the hips. It's nice and deep. But she needs to be able to extend the arm, which Chloe's preventing from happening because that other hand is in. But now Chloe's on the side. So if Chloe gets that left arm free, she's got some solid grinding pound available to her. There we go. Really Ten seconds running. left. Haley's back to her feet. Haley. It's all the play for you. Really so oh, they oh, both wow. going down. Both fighters really going after it now. Look at that what for a, a finish to a fight. What a fight. What a fantastic fight. Wow. They put it all out there in the end. That was great. I have to say, I'm really, really impressed with Hayley. Hayley awesome. looked fantastic in that. Uh, her strike and the way she controlled the cage looked really, really good. Um, so, ladies Chloe and gentlemen, going I'd just say that these two girls are best friends. <laughs> they train together to every week. Fighting, getting and the take down, like wrapping that. together. Let's give them a so round of applause. Heard, MC Ricky Wright has just told us these two train together every week. They're best mates. They train together all the time. They know each other's game inside out. And after three uh, rounds of maybe action, we why the judges go Chloe wasn't going through usual, usual, getting the clinch, get the take down. And now your bantamweight Four Nations champion in the blue corner, Chloe. Chloe, Chloe takes the decision. Chloe took the decision. Well done to Chloe. Um, that must have been a close decision. That must have been a close decision. I would not have wanted to have called that no, fight. No, definitely not. I think um, whether she'll watch this back or not, I'm not sure, but I think Haley looked absolutely brilliant.